This is a news update for InfoLive TV, June 19th. I'm Margot Dutkevich. The Islamic group Jihadiyya Salafiyya in Gaza declared that Christians will be able to live safely in Gaza if they abide by the Islamic law, which includes a ban on alcohol and demands that all women wear proper head coverings when in public. The group vowed harsh action against Christians engaging in missionary activities. The Fatah Central Committee decided on Tuesday to cut all ties with Hamas due to its bloody takeover in Gaza. Senior Fatah official Mohammed Dekhlan described the Hamas takeover as an occupation of the Gaza Strip. Yasser Abad rebel and aide to Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas declared that Iran had encouraged Hamas to use violence in order to seize control of the Gaza Strip. At the same time, the deputy speaker of the Iranian parliament said Israel and the United States are to blame for the Palestinian strife. IDF tanks were deployed on the Palestinian side of the area's crossing today to act as a buffer and protect Palestinians gathered at the crossing from further Hamas attacks. Israeli ambulances evacuated the wounded from Monday night's shooting to Israel. Incoming Defense Minister Hood Barak spent his first day in office meeting with the top IDF and security echelon and received updates on the security situation. 51 Nobel Prize laureates signed a petition condemning a decision by the British University and College Union to impose a boycott on Israeli academic institutions. The Real Madrid football team arrived in Israel as guests of the Paris Peace Center and will play against an Israeli-Palestinian football team tonight in Tel Aviv. Real Madrid won the Spanish championship two days ago. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, IDF troops move in to protect Palestinian refugees at the area's crossing. And InfoLive TV's Great Debate, top experts discuss Israeli demographics. Today, the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs, and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.